Welcome to Passport Mommy. I'm your host, Michelle Gerson. This show is for anyone raising little humans. We feature experts with tips and advice to enrich the lives of our children. Mom and dad entrepreneurs tell us their inspiring stories. Learn about products that could make both you and your child's life easier and more fun. And of course, fellow parents discuss and laugh about what's happening in their child's world. Motherhood is a journey. Thanks for joining me on mine. Welcome to the show. I'm Michelle Gerson, the Passport Mommy. I hope you had a good week. I hope you're staying healthy. You're staying sane. I'm excited because later in the show, we have Amberlyn Vital back on from Garden of Life, and she's going to talk to us all about what we could do to keep the stress levels down for this holiday season. And she has other wonderful tips. And don't forget our 25% off promo code if you go to gardenoflife.com. Put in Passport Mommy, you'll get 25% off. But we'll talk to Amber later on, and she has so many wonderful tips. First up, I am thrilled to have back with me today Melanie Fish. She is Verbo's travel expert, and she speaks to journalists in this fast-growing segment of the travel industry, Vacation Home Rentals. And we've been talking a lot about Vacation Home Rentals, especially during this time, because I feel like that is is where people are traveling to. That's where they're staying instead of in hotels. Melanie, thank you so much for being here. Glad to be here. So Verbo just celebrated its 25th anniversary. Verbo is celebrating 25 years of helping families make those magical memories while on vacation. And what a year to be celebrating. Isn't that, oh, wow. It's kind of wild. <laughs> uh, but Verbo is really the OG of the vacation home rental industry. 25 years ago, you had to find the phone number for the guy who had a vacation home to rent on the beach in Florida and, I don't know, write him a letter or fax him something or give him a call and see (laughs) if his house was available for a certain week. And actually, the founder of Verbo had a place in Colorado that they wanted to rent when they weren't uh, using it. And so they are the ones who led the charge and they started with ads in the back of magazines with a 1-800 number and then took it online. So a lot has changed in 25 years. Now there are more than 2 million places to rent all over the world on Verbo. That is absolutely incredible in just a 25 year span. So I know every year you come out with your trend report. So tell me about the 2021 edition and what makes it so different. Well, every year Verbo uses booking and search data to spot trends and destinations, the types of vacation homes people are renting and what's changing in family travel. And we did that again this year, but we recognized that was not going to be useful on its own this time because goodness knows none of us wants 2021 to mimic 2020 in any kind of way, and especially in travel. So Verbo launched a first of its kind global survey of families to find out what their plans are for 2021. We combined that with the search and booking data for this trend report, and really I'm thrilled to report that the biggest finding is that eight out of 10 families are already making travel plans for 2021. That is phenomenal. And I can see why I know we are all itching to get away. And I think just hoping that, hey, in 2021, maybe there'll be a vaccine or maybe this thing will just be gone um, or definitely down from where it is now. So I think that's great news because people still want to plan. Even if they can't travel right now, we want to plan. And you should plan. I think it's good for your mental health. I think the planning is just as important as the trip itself. Exactly. And it gives you something to look forward to. So what are some of the most notable findings from the 2021 report? What's hot for next year? Well, one thing we wanted to find out is if any of these pandemic travel trends are going to stick around. So this year we saw the rise of the flexcation where families were getting away and combining online school and work and play. And families are telling us they kind of like that flexibility. So they're 67 percent says that they would do it again. Also, the road trip had a huge surge this year and families liked it. And so they're going to stick with the family road trip. Another finding we found is that when this pandemic is over or when there's a vaccination in place, families are willing to pull out all the stops when things get back to normal. So 65% of travelers plan on traveling more than they did pre covid And 33% say they're willing to spend more 
than they traditionally would. And get this, more than half of the families we surveyed say, okay, we've been cooped up. We are ready to take that bucket list trip. Right, exactly. And so when you're talking about the bucket list trips, what are on people's bucket lists? What destinations and accommodations are you seeing people are excited about? Well, here's what's interesting. When we're talking about bucket list trips, I think Australia usually tops the list of what people consider a bucket list trip. But people said they wanted to take a bucket list trip. But when we really got into the nitty gritty of what people were planning, we found that lakes rivers and streams are the most coveted destinations. So Verbo demand data revealed this uptick in destinations near these bodies of water all across the South Midwest and Eastern regions of the U.S. And the top emerging destinations are all places where families can fish, camp, and hike. Places like Emory, Texas, which is between two lakes filled with largemouth bass, Slade, mm-hmm. Kentucky, um, the Outer Banks. And I'm not saying that every family in America needs to plan a trip to one of these kind of lesser known destinations. I think it just points out the trend that, yes, people are planning bucket list trips, but they're also seeing the benefit of taking a drivable destination trip to maybe a place they didn't consider before as being a top vacation choice. So I know I discovered lakes within an hour or two of my home that I didn't consider vacation destinations before. I went to Broken Bow, Oklahoma, which had amazing, beautiful cabins in the woods, and I wasn't even familiar with it until I really started looking for what my region had to offer. So if there, if you, if you have to say, okay, something positive came from the pandemic, I think it's this this discovery of the family road trip to places where just getting away and being together and experiencing the outdoors are the real attraction. I agree with you. And I think too, by taking the pressure off from having to book this really big elaborate trip that involves flights, that involves maybe international travel, I think it reshapes people's mentality of, hey, you know what? We can get away, whether it's just for the weekend or you mentioned before the flexcation where they think about a new way to work and to live. So you said that people may carry over their idea of the flexcation. Can you elaborate a little more on that? And what exactly is a flexcation? I know we've talked about in the past, but let's talk about that. Yeah. So we coined the term flexcation for these stays that we were noticing where people might be staying a little longer. They might be going Monday through Friday and people who are working remotely did have to get some work done. People who had online schooling, maybe trying to get that done in a vacation home, maybe by a lake, by a river, at the beach, um, but then wanted to combine that with just a change of scenery, a break for their mental well-being. And then since we spotted that trend in 2020, what we found is that families are really reacting positively to that, but we're also seeing that there are some tips and tricks to using it effectively for your family. One of those is to do the flexcation, but make sure you're scheduling it well. You're making boundaries between when that work and play is. So if I say, okay, I'm going to work some and enjoy the great outdoors, I need to be very clear with my colleagues and with myself that I'm going to work from 10 to 2 and then the rest is and then I'm going to shut it down and we're all going to be right. together and the same and the same with school. The other thing is that Wi-Fi yes or no has long been a question people wanted answered when they were booking a vacation home. And now they have more specific questions about the quality or the strength of the Internet connection. And so as Verbo has done throughout the pandemic, we're continually looking for ways to surface that information for people to choose quickly the best vacation home fit for them. But then there's always the option to ask those specific questions of the homeowner that you're renting from before you actually book a property. Right, exactly. So, okay, where can people go to go online, to start browsing, to think about where they want to book their vacation home, whether it's next month or next year? Well, Verbo.com and the Verbo app both have the ability in it to start a trip board, which means you don't have to have a specific date in mind, you can just start 
filing away properties. It's kind of like the Pinterest of vacation homes in something called a trip board by harding the properties you like. And then when you're ready, you can go in, share it with the people you're traveling with. They can vote for the ones they like. They can make comments. You can chat back and forth. So I love that tool for planning. And one other thing I wanted to point out to you about the trend report is that cabins, cozy cabins are hot, 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 and will continue to be in 2021. People are just craving the comfort of a cabin. Melanie Fish, thank you so much. I'm jumping on. You always inspire me to jump on Verbo on the website, on the app, and just start looking again. Thank you so much, Melanie Fish. You know, Verbo is the go-to two for families who want to travel better together and reconnect with their loved ones. For 25 years, Verbo has helped every type of family search, find, and book the perfect place to stay, whether it's a cabin, a beach house, a condo, or even a castle. And with more than 2 million vacation homes available on Verbo, there's a perfect place out there for every family. So whether you're looking for a private pool or a fire pit in the backyard, Verbo Vacation Homes offer unique amenities that you can enjoy while making lifelong memories together. Ready to start dreaming about your next family vacation? Just go to Verbo.com or download the Verbo app. I have been blessed with the wonderful thing called lactose intolerance, but you know what? I'm not alone. 65% of the world's population is lactose intolerant. And then as I got older and started learning more and more about cow's milk anyway, I said, you know what? Just as well, because I don't want to consume cow's milk, not only for health reasons for myself, but also because of just what goes on with the cows who are producing the milk. And so today I have with me Alicia Aguayo. She is the senior manager of PETA Latino. Alicia, thank you so much for being here today. Well, thank you for inviting me. Sure. So tell me, I, you know, I see more and more the oat milks, the nut milks, they are just becoming more and more popular. People are getting on board with vegan milk, which I think is great. And tell me from your perspective, how does consuming non-dairy options positively affect the lives, not just of us for health reasons, but of animals? Well, I'm a mom just like you. I have two kids and the dairy industry breaks my heart more than any other farming practice because a lot of people don't realize that in order to produce milk, cows, just like humans, have to have be pregnant and they have to have a baby. But in the dairy industry, those calves are stolen away from their mothers shortly after birth. And cows have been known to cry out for their babies for days after they're taken away from them so that the milk meant for the babies can be sold to humans instead. And I cannot imagine anything um, more horrible than than having my baby taken away from me. Um, So we can all help to prevent that from happening to more animals by drinking the vegan milks that you mentioned, like almond milk and coconut milk and oat milk. And there's so many these days. Um, And these products are also better for our health. You know, as you mentioned, 65% of the world's population is lactose intolerant. And that's because it's simply unnatural to be drinking milk as an adult and to be drinking the milk of another species as an adult. Um, This Mm -hmm. comes along with a lot of other health problems also. You know, cow's milk is related to acne, to um, obesity, and even things like cancer. Yeah. So we can all help animals and our own health by switching to um, healthy, delicious vegan milk. Absolutely. And you know what? When I look and compare vegan milk, so many of them are fortified with calcium. And they're, I don't want to say just as healthy. To me, they're more healthy because of the reasons that you just said. But if you're worried about losing out on your calcium, you don't really have to worry about that. And there's so many other ways that we can supplement and get our calcium in our foods rather than our milk. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a lot of vegan milks actually have more calcium than cow's milk. But, you know, calcium is is abundant in other foods as well. Dark leafy green vegetables like broccoli and kale also have a lot of calcium. So it's easy to get all the nutrients that we need um, without the negative effects of consuming cow's milk, um, you know, and also help our health and the animals at the same time. Right, exactly. And I know personally I have a three and a one-year-old, and so far they have not 
drank cow's milk and, you know, I, they're still nursing. But um, other than that, um, you know, after they're done nursing, I don't intend on giving them cow's milk. And, you know, for a split second, I did have them try it because I kept hearing, oh, you got to transfer to milk, to milk, to milk. And I'm like, you know what? I don't. Because for the exact reasons that you just said, they can get their calcium in so many other different forms. So tell me, how is PETA working towards educating consumers about the benefits of vegan and plant-based dairy alternatives? I mean, clearly interviews like this is helping, but what else are they doing? Well, we have a a lot of campaigns. Um, You know, we do street demonstrations. We do um, we do PSA or um, ad campaigns with celebrities. Um, But, you know, the the best resource is our website, PETA.org, where we have a lot more information about this topic and many others. And we have a free vegan starter kit, which is full of recipes and tips on how to make the transition to, to vegan eating. Great. I love it. And so, again, people can go for more information to PETA.org. And what would you say if somebody says today, okay, I want to do one small thing to kind of make that transition, but they're hesitant, what advice would you give them? I would say go to your local supermarket and try the Miyoko's Vegan Cheeses. These are widely available today, and these products will blow you away. It's called Miyoko's, and she, and okay. she makes – I don't know if you've tried this, but no. she, Miyo, this woman, Miyoko, she makes vegan cheeses. Incredible. They will knock your socks off. Vegan cheeses, vegan ice creams, vegan milks are just as good, are better than, um, than products uh, that come from cows. And, you know, like we're saying, are much better for our health, for the animals, and for the planet. Yeah, absolutely. And now that you said it, Miyoko's, does she also make a butter? I feel like I've had her butter. She does. She makes a couple of different um, kinds. She also makes one from oat milk, an oat milk butter. And so, Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's incredible how many options there are that no matter what you like, you can find something um, vegan that you're going to like even better because there's so many options these days. You know, 20% of Ben and Jerry's ice cream line is vegan now, and they have a lot of interesting, creative uh, vegan flavors. Um, so I oh. suggest people try that out <laughs> as well. I had no idea. I just knew of like one. <laughs> Check that out. So there's so many. And with the holiday season coming up, there's also a lot of vegan eggnogs out there. Um, oh. So just start trying it. Yeah, great advice. I love it. I'm with you. Alicia, thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. I'm Michelle Jerson, Passport Mommy. Every October, Medicare beneficiaries have the opportunity to make changes to their health benefits during Medicare's annual enrollment period. And this year, as we continue to fight a global pandemic, it's more important than ever to have comprehensive health coverage. Seniors 65 and older concerned about being exposed to COVID-19 still have ways to shop during the AEP without leaving their homes. And today I have with me Shannon Adams. She is the Medicare Advantage expert, the head of customer experience at Cigna. Shannon, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. What is the Medicare annual enrollment period and when does it begin? So every year plans change. And so you have a time frame now, the annual enrollment period, to look over your options and make a choice on what Medicare Advantage plan best fits you. You have between now and December 7th, so it's a short time period to make your election for the next year. In what ways is Medicare Advantage different from original Medicare coverage? Medicare Advantage plans are very popular. Over a third of Americans are enrolled into a Medicare Advantage plan, and they're so popular because they provide extra benefits that traditional Medicare doesn't have. Things like dental, vision, hearing, and transportation. It's a great option for seniors. What tips would you give to seniors for choosing their 2021 health benefits? So you want to maximize a plan that understands your well-being. So first, think about your health care needs. Every year, your health care changes, and you want to find a plan that best fits what you need. And the great news is that you can do this from the safety of your home. So you can go online and search uh, Medicare's plan finder. You can attend a virtual education session, or you can call an independent broker to better understand what options you have. 
in terms of tips of what you'd wanna look for, you wanna make sure that your doctor and hospital is in network and any regular medications that you have are covered. Beyond that, you wanna look at the additional benefits that they offer to make sure that you can take advantage of all those extra benefits. How would you say COVID-19 has changed the priorities of what to look for in a health plan? Healthcare is always one of the most important investments you can make. And now more than ever through this pandemic, it's, it's so important to have comprehensive healthcare coverage. So make sure that you're finding a plan that covers everything that you need um, and that you're keeping up with all those preventive care options that many of these plans offer. It's important to stay healthy and stay strong during the pandemic. Thank you so much. Where can viewers go for more information? Don't be afraid to ask for help. Medicare can be confusing. So feel free to reach out to your friends and family um, or to uh, any brokers or your health plan to learn more. If you have questions about what plans are available in your area, you can go to CignaMedicare.com to find out more. Shannon Adams, Medicare Advantage expert, head of customer experience at Cigna. Thank you so much for sharing that really important information with us today. Thank you so much for listening to the show today. I am thrilled to have back with me Amberlyn Batal. She is an educator with Garden of Life. We've been talking with her over the past few weeks just about all kinds of topics that have to do with our kids' immunity, our health, our beauty, our stress. And right now, since we are in the thick of the holiday season, I wanted to talk about stress again, and how we can minimize our stress for ourselves and for our family, because this series that we've been doing from ordinary to extraordinary, how moms impact a family's health, we all know how much what we do in our home affects everybody. It affects us, it affects our husband, it affects our kids, it affects the dynamic of the household. And so it's very easy to get stressed out during the holidays, and especially this year with everything that's going on. So Amberlyn Vital, thank you so much for being here again, because I know you're going to have some wonderful tips for us on how to keep that level of stress as low as we can. Hi, Amber. Hi, such a pleasure to be back, Michelle. Thank you. Absolutely. So tell me, how are you doing during this holiday season? Are you feeling the stress? <clears throat> uh, yes, take a dose of my own medicine, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, it kind of just is the steamroller, right? From uh, kids going back into the school um, motions of school, whatever that is for each person and managing our own work lives if we have them or managing the household and then rolling right into the holidays. And, and I, I just really want to say right now, everybody needs to give themselves a break this holiday season. Just give a break. Don't overplan. Don't overcommit. You know, just be underestimated and surprise everyone. I, I think that's just a much better idea. A lot of places are being required to keep it really um, smaller parties, smaller house household gatherings, right? Yes. So we're forced to do that, which quite honestly, as much as people complain about it, I kind of like it. I kind of like that I'm forced to not have to stress out about planning and going and doing and that we can enjoy the intimacy of our close knit family. Well, if it's close knit, but our, our nuclear family, I should say. Right. Absolutely. Uh, and I think that, I mean, I'm a nutritionist. I'm a foodie. I, I know what I'm supposed to do. And I definitely still turn to the glass of wine at the end of the day to just, you know, try to cope. And I really don't want any of us to just be coping. I really, I really want us to be thriving. And so again, Michelle, I think we need to return to some of those core um, items and supplements that, and, and supports that can really help us from first thing in the morning and getting through the whole day. Because how many times do I hear a, a, a woman head of the household say, oh, I just never got around to eating anything today. This is the first thing I've grabbed. I just had a cup of coffee. And that sets us up for failure. For me, I get tired. I get cranky. If I haven't had a balanced meal or at least protein, fats, and carbohydrates in some balance in the day, I'm not going to manage anything well. 
Right, exactly. And you know, it's funny, I've never been one of those women who say I forgot to eat or didn't have a chance to eat. But I do just grab a million different things, a million different snacks. So I may go through a whole bag of trail mix without realizing it because that was the easiest thing to eat. So sure, I'm getting my fats. But at the end of the day, lots of fats and probably a lot more than I needed. Right. And let's just take that. Let's just jump off that trail mix thing because trail mix means a lot of different things to different people. And Mm -hmm. I think that if you just go and buy a pre-made trail mix, you might be getting M&Ms or sun drops or chocolate chips or Reese's pieces or, you know, all kinds of things. And even dried too much dried fruit is still going to set you up for failure. Granola bars are a dessert Mm -hmm. for kids and for adults granola and yogurt parfaits at Starbucks is a dessert. It is not a sound and balanced meal. And so I know that a bunch of moms just went, Oh no, you're kidding me. I don't want to hear that. (laughs) (laughs) But it really, it's, you you can't imagine the amount of caloric energy that is packed in something like that without a lot of real nutrition. And so this is where I know what you're talking about, Michelle, is a trail mix, meaning you have a mix of raw nuts and maybe a tiny bit of goji berries or something in there. You know, that's different. It's a superfood mix. And uh, even then, yeah, you can overdo it. I can't snack all day. If I'm traveling uh, like out with a sales rep with Garden of Life and I am forced for breakfast and lunch to do protein bars and some beef jerky and a bag of nuts. I mean, by four in the afternoon, I'm like, okay, I need a meal and I need it now. Right. There's something about that balanced meal that's so important. Yeah. And I think as moms, I know too, before kids, I would make a balanced meal and I would be very conscious of that. And I'd have the carb, I'd have the vegetable and I'd have the protein. Now I also find when I'm making my kids dinner, it's like, okay, what can I stuff in my face that's left over from what I've made them along the way? And then they're done eating. And I'm like, huh, was that dinner? And I never really sat down and made myself a meal. Right, right, exactly. And it is very hard with younger kids. And I remember that my meals were so much more simple. My kids talk about it in, 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 in contrast to what we have now, because my husband's a very good chef. And so he, he will make these much more elaborate meals and mom was good at the simple things, you know, just get those veggies on the plate with a palm size of protein and some starch and some fat and call it good, you know, but we can accomplish these, you know, if we, if we nourish ourselves using bridges, using braces, using supplements, through the day when we're the most harried, we will have a better state of mind for preparing the meal for ourselves. And again, most kids are going to eat some chicken or they're going to eat, you know, uh, a little bit of steak or they're going to eat, you know, whatever your protein source for the kids is. Most kids are going to eat that. And that can be kind of the family protein source at 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 least that dinner meal. Um, Moms, what I want you to do is just throw a vegetable in the steamer basket. Just throw a vegetable in there, throw some broccoli, throw some cabbage, throw some uh, collards, some kale, some char- something, have a dressing pre-made with your MCT oil in it, with your olive oil and your cod liver oil, mm-hmm. and, and just add that to whatever it is that you're munching off of your kids. You know, make it really simple because early in the day, maybe you had a really balanced protein shake, a keto meal, a raw meal, a raw fit, a keto fit. Um, hopefully you took your omega-3 supplement, you know, maybe you grabbed a protein bar, maybe you grabbed some raw nuts along the way. You know, these are all ways to support ourselves because the fact is we do just run, 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 run. And we're not going to sit down for a balanced breakfast, balanced lunch and balanced dinner. It's just not going to happen. Right, exactly. And so, and just to back up and to talk about the stress that we might feel and the pressure we might feel this holiday season, what are some supplements we can take to keep that under control and to keep our mental state balanced for both us and our family. So that you can even think about bagging up your nuts and mixing up your protein (laughs) shake. Right. So, I mean, my first go-to, and I've said it a thousand times is ashwagandha and, and that we offer an excellent organic ashwagandha extract that is everything that you need in one tablet. And then if you need further support with B vitamins, you do the adrenal formula, which also has the ashwagandha in it with, Cassandra berries and rhodiola root. So that's an amazing support. If you feel totally washed out, burnt out, just go for the whole adrenal daily balance. Um, But then, you know, little things. 
we have this amazing sleep spray and it has a hundred milligrams per five sprays of L-theanine from green tea extract in it. It's non-caffeinated. L-theanine is an amino acid that helps your neurotransmitter balance. Nobody else makes it in a spray. Hmm. And it's genius because yes, you could use it five sprays or more to go to sleep, but you can have it with you during the day, one, two, or three sprays to just be able to go ah, and calm <laughs> that mental chatter. So I love it for that. It is actually a relaxation and chill out spray with L-theanine and lemon balm, passion flower. Uh, really a good thing to keep in your purse or in your bag. And the same is true for, I, I would say, moms, the easiest one is our CBD gummies. You know, again, we have a CBD mm. spray. That's awesome. But our CBD gummies, well, first it's like a little treat that really doesn't cost you much as far as sugar. And it's got, you've got one with ashwagandha in it. You've got one with turmeric in it. Uh, and you can really just let that support you. CBD acts as an adaptogen in a different way than ashwagandha because it acts in the endocannabinoid system, but it works to help you manage stress and to mitigate the ill effects of stress. Multitasking ladies is brain damaging. I'm sorry to tell you that because we do it all the time. Well, that explains a lot as to why I can't remember anything. <laughs> it really does. And another thing is that when, and you're, you're, you're still having your DHA go into your children because you're still nursing. Right. So when, you know, your DHA, which is an omega-3 fat, if it is, if you're pregnant and breastfeeding, it's going to baby predominantly, which means your brain is depleted of DHA. So that's another thing is that you've got to get those omega-3 fats. And for uh, moms with mental baby brain, multitasking brain, and nothing to help you make more brain drive neurotrophic factor, which will make you feel more on top of it and more in the zone and more euphoric. Um, you got to have that DHA especially. So thank you for reminding me a DHA supplement would be another great support because if you can remember stuff, your day isn't as, a stref as stressful. Right. That is true because I will tell you, I've been looking for things in my house for weeks that I don't remember where they are and I don't know where they were put and that drives me crazy. So let me ask you, if I'm taking a prenatal already, since I am nursing, should I also supplement with another fish oil supplement or is the prenatal enough? It's probably not enough because you're trying to fit everything in and prenatal is helping you make sure baby has what baby needs. Okay. Got mom. Got Postnatally, it. we need a lot more even than we do prenatally. Okay. That's good to know. So I'm going to add the fish oil into the routine as well. I do have a bottle, so I need to start taking that. And what do you recommend for people who maybe just aren't as diligent on a daily basis? They have their supplements, they know what they need to take, but they don't always take them. Ah, uh, you have to accept the mess on the countertops of your supplements being right in front of you. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> make a space, make a cute basket, have them right there. Otherwise you'll just forget to put it all together. Yeah, that's an excellent tip. And if it's like my household, as soon as I start taking my vitamins, my daughter and my son start pointing at the cabinet for their vitamins and then they want their chewables and they have their kids multi. And so everybody's getting their nutrition, which I love. My husband does the same thing. What about me? Where's my <laughs> collagen builder and my ashwagandha and my CBD gummy? <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of CBD gummies. I think that's so brilliant because it's like, not only is mom thinking, ah, I got my CBD, but she's got it in gummy form, which is such a treat. I have totally fallen for the marketing trick. I love them. I just had some. Yeah, I'm putting them in, in my next order, which by the way, I am so thrilled that we are partnering to offer the Passport Mommy listeners 25% off their entire order until the end of the year, because that just makes it a no brainer to try all these things that we're talking about. Oh my gosh, put on your oxygen mask first, moms. So, you know, get these, invest $75 now, something like that to just get yourself set up with things to help you manage stress. Because I can tell you eat better I can tell you don't eat sugar, don't eat refined flours, and, and you can kind of make a choice in that, but we can't choose to be less stressed. We can't choose to sleep better. It's something that we have to kind of help ourselves with. So everything else aside, if you're not sleeping and you're not managing your stress, it's the first thing you have to do. 
Right. Absolutely. And again, for that 25% off that I just mentioned, you just have to go to gardenoflife.com and put in promo code Passport Mommy during checkout. So coming up, we're going to continue talking about how we could just keep our stress levels down now through the holidays, after the holidays. And Amber is going to give us some more tips and tell us about some more yummy treats that we can take from Garden of Life. I'm Michelle Jerson, the Passport Mommy. After the year we've had, I am more excited than ever for our holiday season. Don't you feel the same? I mean, my sincere hope for you and your family this holiday season is that you are happy and healthy. And that is why we have been having these incredible conversations with Amberlyn Vital. She is here to empower us with healthy holiday hacks so that we can enjoy all of the goodness of the holiday season while also being good to our health. So again, you've heard her advice. There's so much that we can do for ourselves. And I am thrilled to be partnering with Garden of Life during this holiday season to bring you 25% off their entire website. All you have to do is go to gardenoflife.com set up an account, do your shopping. And then when you're in your cart, just type in promo code passport, mommy, all one word, no spaces, take advantage of 25% off their entire website. So again, if you're looking for organic non-GMO supplements, vitamins, and minerals that come from clean tested and trusted foods, I highly recommend garden of life. We're talking with Amberlyn Vital, educator with Garden of Life, and we're talking stress and the holidays. And we all know that we're going through it, especially now. And she has provided some great tips on how we can get through it, minimize the stress levels, not put too much pressure on ourselves, but also ways that we can supplement to help with that. Amberlyn, thank you so much for being here. It is my pleasure. I feel like every time I talk to you, it's a reset in my brain where I add another thing to my regimen and I'm pretty streamlined. I mean, I don't take a gazillion things, but what I do take, I feel is very important. And so that's why I'm just so happy that we're partnering with you and that you've been here. Well, me too. And you, you bring up something really important and I don't want people to be on a hundred supplements. You know, I, I really, it's like, it's hard to know if you're not a nutritionist, if you're not a practitioner what do I need and what is overdoing it and what do I not need? But I think that if I can get something across to everybody, you have to understand that your, your body and your life is dynamic. And so when things are going along swimmingly and you're taking your multivitamin and you're doing your protein shake and you're putting your MCT in your, in your coffee, you know, and you're having a balanced lunch and a balanced dinner and you're getting your exercise, like that's all great. But when everything hits the fan and falls apart, it's like, what is the most important? And that I think let's just focus on that for these next few minutes. When everything falls apart and your routine just goes out the window, what is the most important? You have to help your body manage that stress. And this is when we come down to how in a moment in a day can you be assisted in calming down. So we talked about the sleep spray, which could be used at half dose to actually calm you down. We talked about supporting yourself with CBD. That can really be a grab it in the moment thing. You may not feel CBD. You're you're really not supposed to feel euphoria. That's the point with (laughs) CBD, Um, but you can feel ultimately in the matter of an hour that, you know, maybe the edge is being taken off and know that you're protecting your nervous system. Even if you don't necessarily feel a change. You're protecting your nervous system so that later you will be able to sleep and rest or cope with whatever else comes. Another thing that we forget all the time, two things, B vitamins. So a B complex, I forget to take it. It's not something that's a part of my daily regimen. When I get stressed out though, I remember, oh my gosh, I'm using them up I need to throw that B complex in because I'm really putting a lot of stress, not on just my mind, but on my cells, my, my ability to, you know, get rid of toxins and purge them out of my body. And another thing that goes along with that is magnesium. Yes. If you're not sleeping, if you're overdoing exercise or overdoing any kind of physical, you know, involvement, um, like the holidays was the time when I was, when I was a massage therapist, I was really overworking. Mm -hmm. Um, and then if you just are overstressing, you're using up your magnesium, we're all deficient anyway. Uh, and if you don't have it, you're not going to have good, um, neurotransmitter balance, which means you're not going to have good nervous system balance and you're not going to have good sleep. And then you can have all kinds of musculoskeletal issues as well. So the B complex, the magnesium, and then your good herbal helps are your sleep spray, 
your CBD, the gummies are great, but we also have the tinctures. Right, exactly. And so you mentioned the B complex and the magnesium. So if we're taking a multivitamin every day, should we also be taking the B complex? When you're stressed, you need those extra Bs. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's something I used to do and I haven't done in a while. So that's a good reminder. Now your super greens powders and the wheatgrass powders, do they provide any type of B vitamins? They do, but they're in very small amounts. And so it's, it's like you're getting it like you would in a food. Uh, and so it's just supplementing where you're missing. So you're not having a meal with steamed vegetables. So you're grabbing your greens powders. Uh, right. And you're kind of getting the, the, the trace amounts of B vitamins and minerals and certain amounts of magnesium and things that you would have gotten in that, in that, in that vegetable. Got it. Okay. All right. Well, Amber Lynn Vital, again, thank you so much for being here again this week. Such great advice, especially now around the holidays. And, you know, after the year we've had, I am more excited than ever for our holiday season. Don't you feel the same? I mean, my sincere hope for you and your family this holiday season is that you are happy and healthy. And that is why we have been having these incredible conversations with Amber Lynn Vital. She is here to empower us with healthy holiday hacks so that we can enjoy all of the goodness of the holiday holiday season while also being good to our health. So again, you've heard her advice. There's so much that we can do for ourselves. And I am thrilled to be partnering with Garden of Life during this holiday season to bring you 25% off their entire website. All you have to do is go to gardenoflife.com, set up an account, do your shopping. And then when you're in your cart, just type in promo code Passport Mommy all one word, no spaces, take advantage of 25% off their entire website. So again, if you're looking for organic non-GMO supplements, vitamins, and minerals that come from clean, tested, and trusted foods, I highly recommend Garden of Life. Thank you so much for being here this week. I'll talk to you next week.